All right, so I've been looking around this board for the possible failure of the startup of the amplifier. And um, I'm just looking for bad components. I'm going to see if we can find any legs that might be bad shape. Everything looks good here. Make sure nothing is bad. I've reseeded I've reseeded the ICs. I cleaned them up a little bit. They still need a little bit more cleaning, but I don't think that uh, it's gonna be a showstopper in that respect. Just looking for any components that may have a a bad leg on them. Okay. Everything seems firm. I hope that transform was not bad. Oh, that don't look good. Ooh. Hey, there's no leg there. R401. So it's a five bander. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit. Appears to be a 470 ohm. With the 1% tolerance. I don't have 1% tolerance in stock, so I'm just gonna slap a 470 ohm in there just to test. I just have to go check my stock real quick. And we'll uh, we'll try and whack this thing out. All right. So I have a regular five percent, or we're gonna whack in there just to test things out. But first, I want to see if this actually burnt out, or just the, the the leg corroded off of it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a measurement on this. There appears to be a little bit of a leg sticking out on there. Let's. Going for a real tight view. Of the damage here. So you can get a little bit more focus on here. It appears it just may have corroded off. I'm gonna try and get something to resemble a connection and measure it and see if it uh, still has value. Back out the mic.
All right, let's go to uh, let's get the test equipment in the shot here, and we'll put this on ohms. Let's see what this bad boy reads. Well, 75. That's still a good resistor. Besides the, the broken lead. Let's measure our replacement resistor. All right, it's 10 ohms out. I think it'll be more than fine to use for a test. I'm not exactly sure what that in circuit that is controlling, so it may not even need to be 1% because it seems like all the resistors in this amplifier are 1%. So it just seemed to be the quality that they were going for. I just want to see. Yeah, 475 ohm. All right, so let's clean this area up, get this part out, zap in the new part, and see what happens. This is a double sided board, so we can try and heat this top up and maybe pull the component straight up. I don't have a good confidence that we're going to be able to suck the solder out of that connection very easily with all that corrosion that's in there. Let's back out the mic a bit. That was a little tough coming out. No, oh, yeah, there's a lot of corrosion on that. So now the other trick is getting that broken lead out of here. I'll have to heat the hell out of this thing, and we'll try and give it some new solder. And we'll try and suck it out. Let's actually go to just the microscope cam. Let's see if we can pull it out. Yeah. That pulled the via right out and everything. That was nasty. So, looks like the lead comes from here anyway. So we might be able to just rig, some, rig something up there to get that connection back for now. Let's see what the back looks like. Okay, there's no connection on the other side of that veer. On this side. So we don't have to worry about restoring any connection here. Let's see if we can clean that up a bit. Just get some of the heavy crap off of it.
That cleared out. Alright, so let's clean this up and see what we're dealing with here. I'm just going to brush this a little bit, get some of the heavy crap off. that veer is really still there because that one seems to be the round this roughly the same diameter hole on the other side let's go in for a closer look maybe that is there maybe we just suck the yeah okay it looks like we sucked the top of it off so the connection is definitely not connected to the veer anymore And if you can see that, let's see, yeah, you should be able to see it right in here, right in here, it's not connected to the V or anymore. It looks like the insert is still in there, but it has corroded away from the trace. So we don't have a choice, we're going to have to just scrape this back for now. See if we can get a little solder to flow on that via, I mean on that trace. It's too big of a gap to bridge. So we're going to have to use a piece of wire. So I'm going to strip a piece of wire away of 30 gauge wire. I'm going to come up from the via. And we're going to fold it over here. We're going to see, we're going to see how this idea works out. I'm hoping that maybe I can sneak this and the leg in the via. Let's see if they fit together. Need a little better focus. Right, where's the new resistor? Let's see if this will fit in the same hole. No problem. So we're going to tack that down. Straighten that up a little bit. Looks 
like we may have soldered a little in the hole down there. Let's see if she still fits. No problem. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the excess on the top side. more of that off of there. See if we can nip it down close enough. Yep. All right. Good. This V or here to this trace connection looks okay. So let's whack in that resistor just to test it out, see what happens. So I'm just bending the leads over. Let's see if we can get this thing to go down in there. So I'm going to pull the part to the board, flip it over, and I'm going to solder one side. Of uh, let's see, let's get a better focus here. Okay, so now we have. This one via here that has that's one side of the resistor. Let's see if we can get that to flow back together. problem there. Now on this side I have the two leads coming out. I'm going to try and fill this hole up even though there's no surface trace to solder to but the via is still in there. Let's see if we can just bond these together in the via in the middle of it. cut the excess off. Clean up the flux in our area a bit. Not that cleaning this is going to make it look any better than it, all this corrosion. Nothing worse than a sticky board, though.
Beauty. Let's flip it over, see how it looks on the other side. All right, so the other side. Looks good. Looks like we didn't do anything. Besides the flux, it's still there, but it looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's try and clean that up a bit. Cotton Q-tips work okay on this kind of work because there's nothing that's really grabbing it to tear it apart. Good enough for now. So let's check some continuity, make sure that our repair is electrically sound. All right, so this leg here goes over to, uh, where does that leg go? Oh, it goes all the way around the world now, doesn't it? It appears to go to that capacitor leg, possibly. <laughs> Just a quick assumption there. No, it does not. All right, so it actually, no, it goes up to this resistor above it also. So we'll grab that connection. Maybe this is a voltage divider circuit. Okay, so that's where we grab the other point. So it must be a voltage divider circuit. Now the other leg we know goes underneath here. It goes down. And over to oh look at that the remote lead hmm the smoke is clearing here all right oh i'm starting to get some hope all right so let's let's uh wire this up and go for a test here all right, so I have the supply at 13.8, 13.9 volts. I got the current limit to 2 amps. I've got it wired up. I haven't turned the remote on yet. Let's see if that light comes on. Mm, fail. No light, but we are drawing a bit more current. We're drawing uh, 730 milliamps. So... We're, we're getting we're getting something different so let's find out uh, what's going on here maybe these fets are no good okay I do feel a little bit a warmth on this fet All right, on this channel here, I feel warmth on this FET and this FET, but this FET and this FET are completely cool. So these two FETs here are warming up. So the question is, are they failed or are they working? Because this is not on a heat sink. And these FETs here were cool, so we may have a FET issue left here, but I'm not completely convinced of that yet. The other FETs on the other side are completely ice cold. So 
so only two fats were war warming up but I don't know if that's part of the power supply that could be normal all right so I guess we'll uh, we'll have to dig into this a little bit more but uh, as for right now we're you know at least we found one component that wasn't good and repaired it and got a difference and we're at least getting the thing that I think somewhat turn on maybe that LED is no good I'll have to test that too maybe the thing actually is turning on at this point and I just cannot tell because the LED is corroded away in some fashion or who knows but all right uh, yeah maybe in the next video we'll uh, we'll uh, find some more uh, problems with this we'll see you in the next video if you like what you see subscribe and come back like the video and uh, Maybe we'll get this thing working.